Thanks for coming, Doctor. It isn't an easy trip. I need your help. We came as soon as we got your cable, Professor Gould. You said you wanted Astro. I need a favor. I hate to ask, but a dying man should get a last request. No, don't talk like that. Professor, I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your last paper. After that trouble with the icebergs, it made very interesting reading. Now, you said that outer space effects on icebergs... No time. Listen, it's about my ancestry. I'm descended from the Vikings. The Vikings? I guess Astro hasn't heard about them in school yet. The Vikings were great sailors. They went out from their Scandinavian homelands to conquer settlements in Europe. They were powerful, fierce warriors. Almost a thousand years ago, King Eric of the Vikings came to Greenland and began to worship their god Odin. He made sacrifices to Odin and buried gold with sacred statues. Gold, you say? During World War II, the Nazis tried everything to find the gold, but they never came up with a single ounce. I'm not interested in the gold. What good would it do me now? I only want to find the sacred Viking burial ground. Will you help? Uh, tomorrow, some friends are coming. I've told them about you. They're counting on your help. Uh, I won't be with you, but I'll rest better knowing you'll be helping us. Astro, we need your powers to get through the ice and snow. You're my hope of finding the tomb of Odin. <gasps> Professor Gould! Ahoy! Here comes a strange-looking ship. Believe it, that's a Viking ship. What? Lower the sail. Rest the oars. Ship stopped, tie it up. I didn't expect the professor's friends to be dressed up like Vikings. Huh? What's wrong? Oh. You two must be Dr. Elephant and Astro. Uh, that's right. My name is Cloud. I'm captain of this ship. Professor Gould told us about you and your bravery. Pleased to meet you. Ah, oh, that's a magnificent ship you have there. Men, on to the sacred land of Odin. I didn't expect this. I thought Vikings used sails. Sometimes we use the sails, but you can't depend on the weather in the North Sea. With the engine, we're not at the mercy of nature. Oh. Ah. Oh. St. Elmo's fire. St. Elmo's fire. Isn't it unusual for it to appear so brightly? It's almost like midday. <laughs> we should feel honored. Maybe the god of death is welcoming us. King Eric commanded that no one should enter the sacred land, and if anyone dared disobey, he would be killed by Odin's thunderbolt. Professor Gould asked us to check out these three points. Here, look. The first one is on the tundra. An avalanche! Astro! Yes, sir! in the world is that? Get out of here. Captain Cloud, what's that doing locked up in here? <gasps> Forget what you saw. It's nothing to you and never come in this cabin again. It is said that the Vikings often landed here on the tundra. It had good access to the sea. The area below this cliff is the first point. Astro, go take a look. Right. 
Please be careful, Astro. I will. Norwegian written on a stone plate? Yes, sir. What did it say? The gold is north of here. Only Gunnar can find it. All others turn back. Gunnar, do you know what it means? North, that doesn't tell us much. We'll go on to the next spot. Looks like the remains of the Nazi base. This is the second spot. Sir, there's another stone plate. Don't get too close if you don't have to. Can you read it with your telescopic vision? Yes, sir. It's in ancient Norwegian again. This time it says, the gold is west. Only Gunnar can find it. All others turn back. Gunnar. The gold is at a point southwest up the river. Only Gunnar can find it. But there is no river. He's right. I checked the whole area from above, and I couldn't see a river either. Maybe there was when the tablets were carved, and now it's frozen over. Do you have an ancient map? Yes, Doctor. Here it is. Yes, this is it, the River Isri. River Isri? But how do we find it without coordinates? A little ancient pathfinding. From the first point, we go north. From the second, we draw a line west. And where the two points intersect, that's where you'll find Odin. Dr. Elephant, there was something I missed. There's something here about Gunnar. Gunnar? Gunnar was the descendant of the god Odin, the protector of the gold, the chosen one. What's that? Sabi! Zamora, this time we fight to the finish. To the finish. I don't need you anymore. Go to your father. Go! Oh, Papa! Sabi! You didn't need to steal my son. I would have fought you just out of hate. I've spent my life in the civilized world. It's taught me never to trust anyone. He's back now. Back for more cloud after all I have done to you. <gasps> this is your chance to quit. <laughs> I'd rather die than run from you. Papa must win, but if he doesn't, I'll fight cloud myself. Stop this killing! Stop it! Out of the way, Astro! Who is that? You stay out of the way. This isn't just a killing. It is an ancient duel. We are the true descendants of the Vikings. We've followed the commands of King Eric. No one can take away our rights. 
Zamora claims to be king. He lies. The title is mine. There's only one way to settle this. We fight. Today's the end. There can be only one king chosen of Odin. Yes, they have to fight to let Odin decide which is his chosen. Now you get out of the way. <laughs> Astro, don't look at me like that. You don't understand. It was the will of Odin. That's no excuse for killing a man. Quiet. You come from a different land. The law of Odin is no excuse. It's our way of life. Cloud, you've won. You've won the right to be called Gunnar. Zamora, you fought well, like a true warrior. Sabi, you should be proud to have such a fine father. <gasps> Sabi... Grow to be strong and... Gunnar, so it's a title. He's the king chosen by Odin. Odin! I am the new Gunnar. Will you follow me, men? I'm going to Odin's sacred land in the north. Who will come with me? I need one man. I'll go. Sabi, you can't. You're only a boy. I offered to go first, and by law, you have to take me. All right, then. It's done. Odin! 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 At last, as Gunnar, I alone can go to the sacred land. According to the map, there should be a sulfur spring not far from here. What's a sulfur spring? That was close. That is a sulfur spring. They're pretty common in volcanic areas like this. The water is very hot and sometimes the ground around it can be unstable, so be careful. No matter how far we go, we can still see the aurora. I've never seen anything like this. It's almost like it's calling us. I've seen lots of auroras, but this one's different somehow. Astro! Astro, are you all right? Answer me! Hey, say something, Astro! Savi, Savi, hang on tight. Wait for me. Hold on till I reach you. Grab my leg. Come on, catch my leg! I... I don't want your help. Oh. Safe. Beautiful. It's so bright, almost blinding. Come on, let's go. I can feel it. The sacred spot isn't far. Let's take the easiest way around the foot of that mountain. Huh? A keel of a ship. A lot of scientists will love this. Proof that the Vikings came this far. So, is this it? Is this King Eric's ship? Well, 
No, it's too small. King Eric's ship would be twice this big. It's further on. <gasps> this is it. This is the sacred spot. We have found King Eric's ship. We shouldn't go any further. It's a sacred place, not a place for the living. We're not wanted here. I say we go back before we disturb something. No, not after coming all this way. No, Cloud, let me go first. Astro. I'm a robot. You don't have to worry about me defiling the sacred ground. All right, go ahead, but don't touch anything. Whatever you do, don't touch that gold. What? What are you saying? Warning him like that. Don't you trust Astro? I'm suspicious, I guess. Just forget it. Ah! Astro! Astro! Ah! No! Stay back. I'll go alone from here. You can't. Remember, only Gunnar can find it. Astro! Astro! Where are you, Astro? Oh, Astro! What is that? Is this the gold that King Eric brought here? I am Odin, an explorer unit. An explorer unit? I was sent from Xenon 1,000 years ago. My landing on Earth damaged my motor mechanism. I couldn't move. Some Earth inhabitants found me, but they had not yet developed the technology to repair me. So they worshipped me as a god. The god Odin was a wrecked spaceship? Now at last I can leave Earth. This robot will provide the parts I need to repair myself. I will begin disassembly. <laughs> the sacred figure of the Vikings. <laughs> the goal, the sacred land, a fraud. <laughs> All of it a machine from outer space. How fitting. <laughs> Listen to me, great god Odin. Let me take you out of this deep freeze. The best engineers on Earth will repair you. No, I don't want humans to touch me. They're all fools. Why else would they worship me as a god? No, I will do it myself. Well, whatever you say. I've waited 1,000 years for this. No, what are you doing? Give that robot back to me. Huh? Dr. Elephant, here, take Astro. Astro, Astro, it's a short circuit. Beautiful. Now you will see my fury. Huh? Just a little more. Sabi, you can finish me now. Captain Cloud, huh? Let's take cover. Savi, go. Forget about me. Dr. Elephant, go hide quickly. Just about got it. That should do it. Watch out! What is that thing? That's what was behind Odin and the gold. Really? Cloud risked his life for mine. That monster is not going to get away with this. Just remember, Astro, it's very powerful. Hang on, Cloud. We'll get you out of here. Look, Astro's coming back. One thousand years. Dr. Elfin, the monster is finished! Well done, Astro. Astro, you're a brave Viking.
My father and Captain Cloud died bravely. On their graves, I vow to be a fearless Viking like they were. Captain Cloud. Proud Viking, sound the gong and set sail. <laughs> <laughs> 